Into the nation's migration levels warns of potential economic harm if skilled migrant numbers are not restored. Virginia Langerbird joins me now with more. So, Virginia, what are some of the consequences if these skilled migration numbers remain low? Well, Janice, skilled migrants provide a massive boost to Australia's economic capacity. Data from BIS Oxford Economics shows the impact uh, my, of lower migration levels as a result of COVID-19. A loss of 1.1 million people in our population over the next decade, resulting in a smaller workforce. It estimates that will slow economic growth by 4% by 2025, reducing the size of the Australian economy by $80 billion. These are people in relatively well-paid jobs, um, so they're paying more income tax than average. It's really helpful because obviously then it helps to fund those services that Australians rely on, uh, particularly the social services, so healthcare, aged care, education, those sorts of things. Um, and that's, you know, it's a pretty important uh, piece of the puzzle, obviously, for the government. And the local screen production industry is one of many industries feeling the pinch of low migration levels, with over 80% of producers struggling to find crews. That is also an opportunity because it is opening up um, the, the chances for people to enter the industry uh, and have people trained in our workforce in a way that hasn't been really on the cards before. An influx of international productions is also poaching local Australian talent. Following the